they've had that, right? That's why we yeah. separated the kids. Okay. Yeah. Now they want to do direct payments. Well, at first they wanted to take uh, money away from the people that had none. So this has been a big thing. You've been seeing some of my Senate colleagues on the floor raising pain about why they had to have more money direct payments. Everybody wants to get a check. But don't you think it's an emergency and a crisis if you're going to lose your unemployment? Yeah. To feed your family and keep a roof over your head? That's the unemployment emergency we're dealing with. But they have to send checks out. I said, I'm all for it. But in an emergency, I can come back and basically the first of the year and see what it takes to stimulate the market and send checks in if that really is what it takes. I just can't figure this out. How do these priorities? You know, it makes no sense. We felt strictly, and I'll tell you, strictly, all we thought it was the emergencies. And now they throw everything in, and now on top of that, they say, well, we got to get rid of the federal crisis response powers, because that's fine, and it's really hard to give the federal report to the public who doesn't even have anything to do with us, and we're still a pandemic. It has nothing to do with it, so I'm asking everybody, if you want to do it, do it now. Call all the public and friends, but you will all get people. Please say thank you. We're going off to a better warrior at home. Fight about it then. Let this package go. That's all we're asking for. So it's not even that the Democrats are holding out for the $1,200 checks, and that's what the tension is. You're saying that you've pointed out something that has nothing to do with the pandemic.